right, we're gonna go for a night walk in Bangkok. There is Sukumavit. Sukumwit. I'll say it wrong. I got it right a few times. That's the main strip. We're gonna start on the east side and do a walk tonight at night. All right, I'm not really sure if I want to go walking through it. I'll just give you some shots because the ladies will be harassing me all the way through. And they really don't like if you're videotaping it. And that is uh, the entrance from the east. And as you can see, everybody's in there. You know, all the ladies, all the guys, that sort of thing. Actually, it's probably worth a walk. I just don't like being the guy with the camera sort of thing. You got, you got the picture, you get the idea. And uh, you can't film in the bars, which I wouldn't want to. I'm not even sure if I want to go in there. It's a one block walk, and it is quite the, uh, quite the adventure. Kind of a nightmare getting it. I got the wrong one. Okay, enough of that stuff. You got the idea. Yeah, uh, a block of complete and utter, you know, ladies in bikinis and that sort of thing. Pretty pricey if you ask me, but I'm also not into it. What is this place? my opinion, sort of a mix of normal people, as you can see. Hookers, which you'll start seeing, uh, just grabbing you on the side of the street. Weird, sketchy people that are probably up to no good. Homeless people. And, I don't know, every once in a while, like some sort of chic looking dude will walk past. It's a very eclectic mix. The further we go this way, we got about a five or six block walk kind of kookier it gets so hang tight you'll see what I'm talking about we're just warming up sort of a nightclub here uh, we're not going into nightclubs some people are one thing you definitely do smell is marijuana. It's all through the air. And uh, as we walk down, this is right in the heart of Bangkok City, you're gonna start to notice for the next three or four blocks, there's lots of ladies. This is actually a pretty good bar. I parked myself up here and just did people watching a few days ago. That'll be on another video. These little places are, uh, yeah. If they're, full of, if they're full of people, they're probably good food. Now this is just all massage alleys down here. We won't go down too far, just kind of show you what I mean. And uh, you know, take your pick on what you're sort of looking for. The further you go down, typically the wackier it gets, if you know what I'm saying. are going to get exciting from this point on. This will be something you're not used to if you definitely don't live in Asia. Okay, we're almost at the end here, but let's just give you an idea. Like if you take a little dip down these alleys, what you sort of might expect if you're not a brave person like myself. She's hiding her face. Yeah, you sort of get the idea. The further you venture, the, uh, you know, the more adventure you'll find. But then of course, every once in a while you find really good, uh, and we're getting close to the Nana area, which is just over here. That'll be the end sort of part roughly of the video. But yeah, there's still definitely places to go for dining and whatnot down here.
going to. I gotta get out of Thailand in about six or seven hours. I can't, man. Sorry. Whoa. So I'm gonna have one beer here just for the video, and uh, I'm not going anywhere. I'm jumping out of here very quick. I'm gonna head back, but I thought I'd give everybody a shot. Um, people are sort of interested in this stuff, even if you're not into it. You know, it's just interesting to see. And I'll get my self on the way back to uh, another sports pub out of here. I'm not gonna sit in here for too long. I don't really need to do this, but anyways, there's a dragon or where the heck that is.